Hi, I'm Dave Early, and today I want to tell you how to silence that voice in your head. Several years ago, we were starting a church in Las Vegas, and a lady started coming to our church, a beautiful young lady, beautiful little children. She gave her life to Christ. She really wanted to live for God. She asked me to come to her house and talk to her husband. She said her husband is just so discouraged and defeated. He's falling apart. Well, I went to talk to him, and, and I could tell right away. Now, he should have had a great life. He was a good-looking guy. He had a well-paying job. He had a beautiful wife, a sweet wife, two beautiful little kids. He should have been having a great life, but he wasn't. He was falling apart because of the voice in his head. I walked in, and I said, I can tell you're hearing a voice in your head right now. He said, how do you know? I said, it's saying... Don't listen to this guy telling to leave. He said, that is exactly what the voice is saying. I said, you got to tell that voice no. If you want to be free, tell that voice no. He said, I, I don't know what to do. I said, in the name of Jesus, be silent. No more talking. Let the man speak. And he said that, and the voice stopped. And he said, I can't believe it. That's the first time in... in since I was a teenager, I haven't heard that voice in my head. Well, what's this all about? You are always hearing a voice in your head because the devil is an accuser. He's a slanderer. He's always saying negative things, lying things about you, about others, about God. He will accuse you to God. We know this from Job chapter 1 where Satan goes to God and, and says, Job's not such a great white guy. Take away his blessings and he will curse you. Revelation chapter 12, it says he's the accuser of the brethren. He's always going before God saying bad things about us. He's telling God bad things about you. He's accusing you, uh, God, to you. He tells you bad things about God. Genesis chapter 3, Satan to Eve said God's not that good. If God was good, he would let you eat of every tree of the garden. But no, you're not allowed to eat any trees of the garden, which wasn't true. God's not good. God's not going to punish you. He, he, he says negative things about God. You've heard that voice in your head. God doesn't love you. You're not important. You can't have victory. You've heard that voice. That is the enemy accusing God to you. He will accuse you to other people. I, I called a lady one time. I said, I haven't seen you at church. What's up? She said, I'm not coming back to your church. I said, what, what's wrong? She said, I know you don't like me. I said, you've got to be kidding because I've never thought that thought in my entire life. In fact, I was just telling my wife before I called you how much I respected you for raising your daughter uh, on your own for God. She said, really? She said, well, last time I was there, I was sure that you didn't want me to be there. I said, you got to be kidding. That's the enemy. Don't listen to the enemy. And understand, if you've just had a, a, a conflict with somebody or a negative situation, pray that God will silence the voice of the enemy and that they will not hear his accusations because he will tell, um, he will accuse you to other people. He'll tell other people bad things about you. He will tell you bad things about other people. Somebody hurts you, and you're not even close to them. You have, maybe you haven't even seen them in a long time. You get all these negative thoughts about them, their motives, their, 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 what they're doing, what they're saying, why they did it, all these negative thoughts. It's like you can't turn them off. That's the enemy. He's, that's the voice in your head. He's accusing other people to you. Well, this is the one he does the most, I think, and that is accuse you to yourself. A lot of you are in bondage. Because the enemy is constantly lying to you about you. He says you're not good enough. God doesn't love you. You're not worthy of love. You can't walk in victory. You can't do it. You are a failure. And on and on. You're in bondage to the voice in your head. You're in bondage to the accusations of the enemy. That young man I was talking about, that was what the enemy kept telling him, you're no good, you're not worthy, you're worthless. It went back to an event that happened when he was a teenager. It was an abuse situation. And from that moment, he said in his head, you're unworthy, you're guilty, you're dirty, you're shameful, you're disgusting. And he just couldn't get it out of his head until we went through James chapter 4 and verse 7. 
Submit yourself, therefore, to God. So he submitted his life completely to God. Every part of his life. Wherever you're hearing accusations, that's a part of your life you need to submit to God. And then resist the devil. Say no. Say, I'm not listening to you anymore. You, that voice starts in your head. Say, be quiet. I'm done with you. I'm not listening to you. I don't have to listen to you anymore. I resist you in the name of Jesus. And he will flee from you. I've seen it. I've seen it dozens and dozens of times. The enemies had a foothold in somebody's life. He's used accusation to keep them down, to keep them in bondage, to keep them deceived, to keep them discouraged. They have submitted their lives to God, chosen to stand against the enemy, said no to the enemy, told him to leave, and Satan has left them, and they've walked in freedom. You can do that today, right now. Just say, I submit my whole life to God. Satan, I say no to you in the name of Jesus. You must flee from me. You keep saying it till he's gone. Now, let me warn you, once he's gone, he's going to try to come back. You just do it again. You keep doing it until he's, he realizes he's not going to get anywhere. I'm Dave Early. We do this type of teaching five days a week. You can follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel.